after and say I ruined it, let them know. You guys, I have been wanting to shoot this video for so long. You have no idea. Like, my bed's not even made. Since, like, August, probably, I have been planning this video. <laughs> and, um, I... I don't even know, like, where to start. I've had so much anxiety over this. But also, like, I've been so excited for it, which I think is, like, where the anxiety is coming from. But my husband turns 40 this year. And his actual real birthday isn't until December 20th. But since it was such a big year, I really wanted to do something fun for him this year. Like, something he would not expect. I don't know how else to say this, but, like, my husband has never had a birthday Maybe he has had one when he was really little, but definitely none that he would remember. Um, his mom just doesn't celebrate any holidays or birthdays. And um, that's her choice and we totally respect that. And like, there's no hard feelings towards us, towards her for that. Like, I totally love my mother-in-law. And so I just wanted to say that, like, I don't want anybody being like, I don't know, you know, anything bad about her in the comments. That's just something that she just didn't celebrate. And uh, we do, I think you guys already know that, like we tend to go big, really big out for holidays and stuff, but my husband has never had a birthday party. Like he's never, you know, anything like that. For his birthday, since we've been married, we've always just done like little things, like we'd maybe go out to eat or, you know, I would give him, make him a little cake or give him a present or something, but we've never done anything like big for his birthday. And so since this year he was turning 40, I was like, I got to throw him a birthday party since he's never had one. Like I just could not pass up the opportunity. So I've been planning it since August, which as you guys know, that's when we moved here to Wisconsin. So that's been the other really, really difficult thing. Why would you throw a party when like everybody you know and love lives in a different state? Seems like it doesn't make a lot of sense, but here we are, this is what I'm doing. So I knew that pretty much everybody we know would not be able to come. And trust me, like, I do not expect them to come. But I asked people to send him a card, which I've been getting a pile of cards. And it's been so stressful. <laughs> you guys have no idea. My husband always wants to check the mail. Like, always. And um, so I told people, like, make sure that if you send him a card to put my name on the card, just in case he sees it. But I knew even if he started seeing, like, a whole bunch of cards come in with my name on it, he would still be like, you know, like... And so thankfully my birthday is actually in November. So I figured if that ended up happening and he started to catch cards, I would just be like, oh, I'm sure it's probably just for my birthday. And um, hopefully he wouldn't ask to see the card, <laughs> you know, thinking like I opened it. Um, so that's been kind of my plan. And so everybody who has sent in cards has put my name on the cards. And thankfully, every time he's checked the mail, there has been no cards in there for him. And I've been able to catch all of them without him knowing it. Oh gosh. <laughs> so we're getting so close. Okay, this is what I have to tell you guys. So I'm planning on doing a surprise birthday party for him on November 6th. Should probably told you that earlier. But November 6th. So my birthday isn't until the 15th. So it's before my real birthday way before his. I knew if I tried to do a party for him in December, like that would be so hard. Definitely nobody would come, you know, when it's that close to Christmas. Plus the weather gets really bad here and I didn't want people trying to travel in bad weather like that. And so I figured I would make it sooner, throw him totally off, and then we'll still do something, you know, like we normally would for his birthday as it gets closer or whatever he wants to do on his real birthday. But so we're doing this. Now, again, lots of people cannot come. But his very best friend, <laughs> so I'm so excited, is going to be here. He's coming on Wednesday. Now, he knows his friend is coming, but he thinks he's coming just for, like, vacation because he wanted to come stay with us for a little while. But actually, I had reached out to him and asked him, like, hey, when can you come? Could you even come? Um, and when could you do it? And so a lot of this is happening because... Of my conversation with his friend <laughs> so it's so funny because when his friend so like his friend when his name is graham his friend graham went to rob and was like hey i think it'd be really cool if i could come up there for a week to get away <laughs> for vacation and so my husband had to come and ask me like hey is it okay if my friend blah blah, blah. and i just think it's so funny because i was the one who set it up but i had to also give him permission to have his friend come <laughs> not permission you know but the go ahead so it's just kind of funny. So his friend is going to be here any day now. And I just don't know when I'm going to have another chance to like sit down and vlog this. Because my husband took the week off because his friend is going to be here. 
So this is why I'm having so much anxiety. You guys, you have no idea because it's been so hard to like plan things and go get things. Bought a bunch of stuff for his birthday this week. And like, um, I just added it into my grocery order, but then I had to hide like all this food and stuff. And so he's like, <laughs> he keeps saying like, why? how did you spend so much money and we have no food in the fridge and I can't be like well I bought a lot of food for this weekend but you don't know that and I can't tell you so I just have to be like oh yeah real weird right I don't know it's so weird I just I must have done a real bad job of ordering <laughs> uh, anyways so it's been lots of things like that and we and then in the meantime he set up a like lunch date with some of his employees this Wednesday and then I have like a lunch thing and his friend is gonna be here so we just have like so many other things and I can't tell him like no don't have people come over because I'm trying to like do stuff it is what it is I'm gonna try and make it work but I have been like so panicked and so like <gasps> oh my word um so it's gonna be a surprise birthday which I don't even know how that's gonna go like, I don't even know how his friend is going to get him out of here and get him back. Because my husband will be driving. Just, I don't know. You guys will see. It might be a complete disaster. I have no clue. I have been praying so much. Like, God, I don't know how any of this is going to work out. I don't know how this is going to go. It might be horrible. I just want him to feel, like, special. But we're, we're giving it a go. We are doing our best shot. I ordered him a cake, just his favorite cake. And I'm super excited for that. I got to pick it up. The party's on Friday. Today is Monday. <sighs> so much to do in this week. Here we go. We're doing it. My husband's first birthday ever. Hey you guys, so today is the big day. Today is my husband's surprise party. And I'm kind of freaking out. Everybody is going to get here hopefully around 6.30. Well, that's hopefully when they'll be here already. And we'll have everything ready to go. <laughs> Um, and then hopefully my husband will get here sometime later. I am kind of concerned though Because he like always wants to drive so his friend is going out with him to do some stuff But my husband insisted on driving so that kind of gives him all the control of like when they return, you know So I'm kind of worried about that We're just gonna hope that it goes well. And I'm also kind of worried about where everybody's gonna hide their car <laughs> But I mean, it's fine even if he sees a car, he'll probably wonder what's going on, but, you know, and I've kind of been feeling like maybe he's on to me, but then I'm like, no, there's no way he knows. So I don't know. Today he asked me, like, if something was wrong. He thought I was, like, mad at him or something, and I was like, no. And he's like, something just seems off. <laughs> and I was like, oh my goodness. Um, so I really thought he was on to me, but... Anyways, I don't think he is. So we have like a whole bunch of stuff I have to get ready. Thankfully, somebody's gonna pick up the pizza for me today. So I don't have to worry about that. I just gotta get the house cleaned up and like all the decorations up and all that stuff. So lots of balloons to do. I have a charcuterie board I'm gonna make, like a small one. We don't have a lot of people coming over. Um, and I kind of knew that originally. I knew it was gonna be a small group, which is good, right? Considering all things. Um, so it's just going to be a small group, but again, he's just never had a party like this, so I think small is perfect. Um, we've got lots of games that hopefully we can play, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to get to all the things, and we'll see how it goes. I'm so excited. Panicking a little bit. Like, I'm shaking. <laughs> I have so much to do still. He tried to come home once around four, and... Uh, I messaged him and told him I was sick and I needed to lay down for a while to hopefully keep him out of the house. And then I got him a dartboard and it will not stay up. I It gave me tools, but I'm not in the know. Nope. And I don't have the time to mess with it. So one of his friends just asked me if I needed anything and I was like, uh, can you hang a dartboard? So <laughs> I don't know if he can, he didn't answer me back, but hopefully somebody that comes can do that for me. <laughs> Um, we'll see. But right now I'm just doing balloons as you can see. I still have to finish my charcuterie board right over here. Charcuterie board. This is going to be a charcuterie, charcuterie board, board with a cake. Yes. Layelle's working on the happy. We needed two signs and I only bought one. So instead of happy birthday, she wrote happy day because that fit. And we're going to hang that up. And uh, yeah, we're getting there, but we are definitely running out of time. Oh, and one of my balloons popped, so there's now confetti. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> all over everywhere. That was totally on purpose. Okay, so I'm freaking out again. His friend just is texting me. He's like, he's gonna be there at six o'clock. And I was like, no. Anyways, I told my husband to stop at Walmart and get me medicine for my stomach. <laughs> to try and stall him and I told his friend once you get him into Walmart you better stall him until later so he's texting me right now asking me what kind of stomach medicine I need so I'm gonna message him and let him know and I have somebody coming over to help me hang up the dartboard <laughs> thank goodness he's gonna come do that and put up a bunch of balloons I really have more but I don't have time wait I'm showing them the balloons I don't have time to blow them up so we're gonna start working on this charcuterie board and pray that everybody gets here before he does because he is killing me. Stressing. <laughs> but I got him to go to the store for me. So I told his friend he needs to stall him while he's there working on this charcuterie board. So nobody is here yet. They're all on their way and um, like so close to being here and his friend is just texting me and said they're down the back road. So, it might be me and the kids surprising him. His friend just texted me, call him and tell him you said you forgot something. But the thing is, he was supposed to stall him in the store. So, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do, praying that it works out. <laughs> Why is the store locked? Happy you're way too early for your surprise. <laughs> Happy day. Yeah, thanks for coming home early and for Graham for being the worst, like, procrastinator in the world. Oh, don't start with me. I drove as slow as I could from current. Oh, is that why you wanted to drive? Babe, you are too early. And this is the worst ever. Yeah, I don't even need that. That's fine. what you needed. Because you gave me opposite symptoms and no one medicine, but I found the one that does both. <laughs> Just so you know. Well, happy early birthday. Early birthday, okay. Yep. Okay, very cool. There's a bunch of people that are about to come over. Yeah, well, no, birthday. shame on them because they should have been here by 6.30. There's they, so one person is nah. picking up something for me. One person was coming over here to help me fix something. <laughs> and a bunch of other people have texted me. Less what people do so we know when you're gonna have to wait and find out because that's what a surprise is all about and you ruined the surprise, Listen. <laughs> Listen. Ruined the surprise. you're this so the surprise early I, came up here. I was like graham i will get him to the store but you better stall him while you're in there i did i literally fell down in the back of the <laughs> store <laughs> you that? no i, no, that was, not I was like tell the kids i was like if it's me i would tell him i had to go to the bathroom and i would just sit in there for like 30 minutes I can't sit in a Walmart bathroom. You, you, can, you can pace. You can pace. <laughs> well, somebody's here. Well, we can up for the <laughs> Just go out there and say I ruined it. No, no, you ruined it. It's not my fault. I didn't. I, was, I ruined it. How was I anything? did everything within my human control to make you be gone. <laughs> so did I. Do you like my charcuterie board though? That's amazing. Yeah, Alright, well, hey! That's not how that works, I, I know you have yeah. that Yeah! I don't know how this works. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, then you're allowed to blow up your candle. Oh, well, I was afraid it was going to be. He's like, normally I just blow up the candle and cry by myself. I don't it's know. a giant candle. <laughs> how... I get it, I know. You got about 30 minutes of candle left. Okay, <laughs> happy birthday. Ready? Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rob. Hey! Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Yay. Right. Am I allowed to blow out now? Come on, your turn. Yes. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Your turn. All right. Sub dartboard. It's there, but you got it. aftermath. For no reason. It is 11.30, but we had fun. Everybody's gone. Everybody's tired. That was fun. So like, I don't, I didn't record everybody coming in, but basically like right after dad got home, right? Right after dad came in and I like chastised him. <laughs> we're like, why are you here? Um, 
everybody was like in our driveway like right after that um so everybody basically got here at the same time weren't they Lael? they all got here like the exact same time and it was so much fun but you know i don't like to put people on the camera that might not want to be on the camera so i didn't record a lot of the during while they were here i wish i would have got his reaction when one of his friends walked in though that he hasn't seen in i think the last time we saw him was 2005 i think we were saying is that what they said 2015 that's what i meant 2015 was the last time he saw him so when he walked through in our house that was just the i wish i would have got my husband's reaction because that was the best so um he's out he's outside right now um, but yeah, I just wanted to close it out and say it was so fun. It was a good birthday. Um, I'm like pooped out right now. You guys can tell I'm like so tired. Um, so yeah, I got to clean up <laughs> party aftermath now. So oh, I'm going to do that <laughs> and chill out. Bye you guys. Thanks for watching.